This evening, NASA plans on slamming a spaceship into an asteroid to change its course. NASA's calling the mission the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, which is conveniently known as DART. And if it sounds to you like this is from a science fiction movie, well, it kind of is. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson actually told the New York Times that the project is, quote, something of a replay of the Bruce Willis movie, Armageddon. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, 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 you know I love this story, but the asteroid that NASA is trying to send off course, as Lily wants to point out, is <laughs> roughly 7 million miles away. It poses no danger to Earth. So besides sort of being the coolest level of playing space invaders that yeah. you could imagine, why is NASA doing this? <laughs> You know, you can't get away from Armageddon, can we? I mean, <laughs> it surely brings all that to mind. Um, well, you know, you've really hit on it. The idea is to find out if it's even possible uh, to nudge an asteroid off course if we might find one someday that's threatening to collide with Earth. You know, unlike movies like Armageddon and Deep Impact, where they send astronauts out with nuclear weapons, you know, to try to blow these things up, the real goal here would be to detect the asteroid far enough out that you could simply nudge it off course slightly and it just misses Earth entirely. You don't want to really blow it up because, as one scientist said, that just makes a, turns, turns a rifle bullet into buckshot. Tra it's still right. coming at you. You really, want to, you really want to nudge it off course. <laughs> I mean, that yeah, was no, what that's I was right. and so, thinking. Like, make, let's make sure no, that we don't actually create a problem in the simulation. But That's um, why it's so much smaller than the asteroid. Everybody dealing with this is a lot smarter than I am, <laughs> and I'm sure somebody thought about it. <laughs> now, I mean, it, it's funny because I keep thinking of don't look up. Here is an actual problem we do have is climate change, which a lot of people don't realize this movie is about climate change. But back to space Talk. The biggest question is, does NASA foresee using DART anytime soon? Well, not anytime soon. You know, there are no known asteroids heading toward Earth at least over the next century or longer. They know that much. Uh, but you might mm -hmm. use this technology down the road if you found one on its way to an impact where you could, where you could send a spacecraft out ram into the asteroid and simply nudge it off course. There's several ways to do that. This is one of them, and it's the first one they've ever actually tried. So, mm -hmm. you know, I view this as one of those things that the odds of us getting hit are pretty low, but the consequences could be extreme, and that's worth doing some tests to find out, you know, just what could you do if you really needed to. So it sounds like it's, you know, if it, if it succeeds, they'll keep... Well, if it you know, they, there's them, an that's option. Awesome. If it, they don't succeed, it sounds like a very uh, expensive new sport in space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's shift well. gears. Oh, well, if you want to comment on new sports in space. <laughs> um, but, but otherwise, Bill, we do want to talk, obviously, about NASA announcing that they're going to be delaying their highly anticipated Artemis launch again. Um, you and I, uh, Lilia, we've all been sort of waiting for this to happen. What's going on? Well, you know, they've had problems with the rocket with hydrogen leaks and things like that and, that have caused multiple delays. But in this case, it's Hurricane Ian. You know, this mm, thing yeah. is approaching the west coast of Florida with extremely high winds. It's going to be a major hurricane. And, of course, it extends to either side of the track quite a distance. The SLS rocket, the moon rocket, is sitting out at the launch pad exposed to the elements. Uh, they really don't want to take any chances with that. Uh, they don't know for sure what we're going to get here at the Kennedy Space Center. But just to be safe... I mean, remember, this is a $4.1 billion rocket, right? Uh, they're going to move it back to the vehicle assembly building and get it safely out of the way. So, you know, the, the downside to that is it's going to delay the next launch attempt probably almost certainly uh, into November. So it's, it's going to be a big hit to the schedule, but better safe than sorry. Well, we've Absolutely. learned not to hold our breaths on it. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it, it makes sense, too, that you, you want to be safe and glad to know that they're going to move it indoors as everybody in Florida is preparing. All right, Absolutely. Bill, always good to talk to you. Thanks.